Hey guys, if you're looking for a Valentine's Day treat to wow your kids, this is one way to get them to eat their fruit. I think you're gonna love what we're making today. I'm gonna show you how to put together an edible arrangement that's full of vibrant colors and flavors. All right, so we're basically just making a potted plant with fruit, but before we get to the assembly stage, we're gonna make ourselves some chocolate-covered strawberries because obviously that is going to be your kid's favorite part. So I've got some milk chocolate along with some coconut oil. I'm gonna pop that into my microwave 30 seconds at a time until it's melted. Usually takes about a minute and a half. Now that our chocolate is melted, we can dip our strawberries, which I have already washed. However, they need to be super duper dry, so I just have a paper towel I'm gonna go in and blot them. Don't press too hard. And then once they're dry, you can dip into your chocolate. But I'm gonna leave a little bit of the red showing because that will look extra nice in our bouquet. I'll let the extra chocolate drip off and then I'll put it onto a baking sheet that I've lined with some parchment paper for these to set on. Ooh, that one looks really pretty. And you can mix it up, dip some of them deeper than others to a little bit more of the red. All right, let's do one with some sprinkles, which I pretty much only bring out for Valentine's Day. And then hold it over my paper towel and just sprinkle. It's really cute. Pretty sure I know which one my kids are gonna go for. Now these just need to set for about 30 minutes. All right, before we start assembling, let me walk you through some of the supplies that you're going to need, starting with a base. Notice here that I got in super creative. You can use a Valentine's Day mug. This is awesome for an individual serving size. We've got a beach pail. I mean, it's red, it works. Um, today I'm gonna use just a regular old base and that way I can get a little bit more creative with how I decorate it. Then you'll also need some foam. So a styrofoam ball works really well or even some floral foam. And this is really nice because it's easy to put kind of um, bamboo skewers through which is our next supply. So I've got different kind of skewers over here and this is what we're gonna put our fruit onto and then stick into our foam. So reusable plastic ones are great. Then we've got some different wooden skewers, the smaller the better. And then I also have some straws and I thought these would be cute if you're not gonna cover them with fruit. We've also got some cookie cutters. Hearts are great for Valentine's Day. Flowers are also really fun. You just wanna get super creative. All right, so now that I've shown you all of these supplies, let me wipe some of them away and we'll get started. All right, so let's start by creating the base for our edible arrangement. I've got my base. I'm gonna pop my styrofoam ball in here. Just kind of push it down a little bit to secure it, but this is a really nice tight fit. Then I've got some kale and I'm gonna cover my styrofoam ball with it. This is an optional step, but it looks kind of cute just in case you have any extra little bits that are sticking out and not covered by your red fruit. So I'm using toothpicks and I'm just gonna secure it into the ball. And it is easier if you put the toothpick through the rib of the kale, it just gives it a little bit more of a secure fit. And then because I'm using curly kale, some of it just kind of layers up and pokes off. So anything that looks too thick, I'll just go back in and twist a little bit off. We're gonna start with the fruit that gives us the most height and that's gonna be our watermelon hearts. So I'm gonna cut into this watermelon and then use a cookie cutter to make the heart. You can really decide how thick you want your slices to be. You want them to give a little bit of a bite, but you don't want them so thick that you can't cut through. And then I've got my cookie cutter, push through, and then I'll pop it out. And this is when I'm gonna use my straws because you're gonna see a little bit more of these guys. How cute does that look? And then I'm just gonna go in and decide where I wanna place this, push through. Now we've got all of this beautiful red fruit to fill in the rest of our arrangement. So I'm gonna start with some strawberries. I'm gonna stick it right through the hole here. And you wanna make sure it stops just short at the top of your strawberry. And I'm gonna find a nice big hole that I need to cover up. And it's pretty easy to push this right on through. And you can stick it in flush with your ball or you can have it stick it out a little bit. I'm just gonna keep turning my vase so I can get a great angle. Make sure I'm covering every little bit. Now that I've got a nice base of strawberries, I'm gonna move on to my grapes. And you can always go right back in and add more strawberries, more grapes as you go. But I just like to make sure I have room for each kind of fruit to start. I'm gonna do about four of these guys so they're equal in height to the strawberries. And then again, I'm stopping just short of the top of the grapes and then I'll push them in. All right, so I'm gonna admit to something. My paper straws got a little bit flimsy, so I'm going to go back and reinforce them with a wooden skewer inside, and then my watermelon and get them back on here and move on. This is looking pretty good. I'm gonna put my last grape in here and move on to my next fruit. 
So you'll probably notice I have a fair amount of blank space I need to fill in. The chocolate covered strawberries will take care of some of that. For others, I'm gonna take a nice red delicious apple, cut a nice slice of our apple. I'm gonna core it. I'm gonna take a raspberry that fits just inside the core, snug like that. And then instead of driving my skewer through the apple, what I'm gonna do is put the skewer exactly where I want the apple slice to be. There we go. And you can use a toothpick or a skewer, whatever easier for you to get in. And then I can just pop this guy on here. All right, now let's get down to business with our chocolate covered strawberries. I'm gonna grab our biggest one right here. Stick in our skewer and get this bad boy on here. Now, as you get more fruit on here, it does get a little bit more tricky to put your fruit on, but don't worry. Persistence pays off, you guys. All right, guys, our masterpiece is almost done, but I had some Valentine's Day ribbon from another project that I'm just gonna use to tie around my vase and give it an extra pop. This arrangement looks gorgeous on a counter or table, and I love using a coffee mug for a smaller assortment of strawberries and a copper mug for a flashy bouquet. So happy Valentine's Day, guys. I hope you get in lots of extra little hugs with your munchkins. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hard at work recipe testing. It's a rough life. <laughs>